Welcome to Mark Reed 757. As you can tell from the title, rest in peace, Mark Reed. January 15th, 1979 to January 10th, 2019. Yes, I had to kill myself. Alright, so my old self. Completely killing my old self. I'm starting brand new. You know, who cares what I've done in the past? This is a new me. Brand new. The old me brought me to where I am today. And I'm almost 40 years old. And I'm like, it's time to quit all the shenanigans. To quit all the horseplay. You know, I I had a bunch of Netflix and chills. I've had a, a bunch of video games. I've had a bunch of going out carrying on. And I didn't really put importance on where I want to be in life. I've had dreams. I've had goals. I've had a lot of talk, talk, talk. But I never work towards what I really want. I can remember growing up and being in school and thinking, wow, you know, when I'm 40 years old, I'm going to have a big house. I'm going to have a go-kart track. Yeah, at the time I wanted a go-kart track. I don't know. I thought it would be cool. Have a mansion and have a go-kart track. Wouldn't even know what I'd do with all the rooms, but that's what I wanted. I wanted... You know, to be able to go anywhere, to visit anything, go on vacations. I wanted a big family, lots of kids. said all my kids are going to be on the go-kart track too. I had these dreams. I didn't know how I'd get there, but that's what I wanted. I wanted to be a race car driver. I wanted to be a professional bowler. I wanted to be all kinds of different things. But I never really worked towards it. I guess it could be come down to like a fear of success. Like I was afraid to succeed. I know that sounds stupid. It's like you almost want to have perfection. You know, hey, you know, I can only succeed if I'm perfect. Well, if I really look at everybody that has succeeded already, I might not have seen their whole journey, but I can almost guarantee they were not perfect their whole journey. They weren't afraid of success. They weren't afraid to go out and try. That's the other purpose of these videos. You know, I'm, I'm like, look, just get these videos out. I don't, I don't really care how crappy they are now. Because they'll get better. The more I'm on camera, the more charismatic I'll be. The better I'll be able to portray my message. That's what I'm waiting for. You know, I want to be able to get on here. And have a solid message through here. And hopefully touch somebody else's heart. And inspire them to get motivated and determined. And ready to take on their own goals. You know, that's why I'm... Killed my old self off. Ready for my new self. My new self is not going to be scared of success. My new self is not going to be scared to try different things. And if they don't work, that's fine. Because I'll just rethink it, reevaluate it, and do something different. I just want to keep going. And, I, you know, I don't, I realize that in order to do that, I need to work on my health, wealth, and relationships and spiritual, spiritual. <laughs> So I want to, you know, dive a little more into the spiritual world, dive a little more in the relationship world, in the health world, and the wealth world. Uh, pretty much they all kind of go hand in hand. So the way I have been eating, I feel like crap. I mean, I feel like I'm holding myself back. Like I, I'm, I'm only running on 20%, which lately my 20% has been pretty good it's been better than a lot of people's 
hundred percent. But I know I can do so much better and I need that mental clarity. And I can only get that if I fuel the body right. And that's the other than these videos, that's my main goal is to fuel this body right. And then all of a sudden everything will open up. I'll be able to think better. I'll be able to work better. I'll have less pain. You know, the pain that I have every day is just ridiculous. And it's mainly inflammation. And why do I have the inflammation? Hmm. Because what I'm eating. You can't expect to eat garbage in and have a perfectly fine-tuned running machine. You know, I, I can't dump sludge into my car and think it's going to work. Work. No, you got to have gasoline. And right now I'm not feeding it gasoline. I'm putting whatever the hell I can find. And that's just not working. I, I got to definitely do better with that. So, this is the new me. And I realize that I'm going to continue to do these videos. And now I can expand my goals. Because I'm kind of going back with one of them videos I did before. Where it was one thing at a time. You know, if, I, if you only worry about one thing at a time. And make that one thing into a habit. And that forms into a habit, so therefore then you can worry about another one thing. You don't have to worry about that one because now it's a habit. It's automatic. Or like I like to call it automagically. That's what I'm working on now. So I've been doing these videos. I've been pretty much consistently doing this. This is uh, day 10 or 11 or whatever it is. Now my next thing that I'm working on is eating properly. No matter what, eat properly. I got to eat properly. Because this just can't happen anymore. Uh, the new me's ready. And the new me's going to take over. And the old me has died. Rest in peace. Mark Reed. January 15th, 1979. To January 10th, 2019. Yeah. He's gone. You know, he, he did some okay things, but this is a new era. I'm going to be 40. That's saying, you know, they, they, they say that's when you're just about to go over the hill, you know. Uh, 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 this is 40. <laughs> it's all downhill from here. Then I get to see what's on the other side. Anyway, have a great night, day. Whatever it is that you're watching. <laughs> and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe. Smash that notification bell. Because I got some really good things in the works. Uh, I'm open to suggestions, comments, questions, complaints. Let me know down below. And we'll take care of it.